Hey guys, welcome back to Urban Rhino Tutorials. Um, on this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a resin tray with handles. So for this first part, I'm gonna show you how to mix up the resin. So I have two measuring cups here. And with resin, it is very, very important that you get exact equal parts. So we have a um, the actual resin here, and I'm using this Dr. Crafty brand, and I'll include a link in the description below. Um, and you have the hardener. So for this resin, you want the parts to be one to one, the ratio. So if you use, let's say six ounces of resin, you need six ounces of hardener. So you're gonna end up with 12 ounces total. Just keep that in mind when you're mixing up your amount. I've seen this with students and I'm sure other jewelry makers have, um, if they're starting out with resin, have made this mistake, but they'll mix up, you know, like a whole cup to do just a little letter and it really doesn't take much at all. So be mindful of how much you use. Resin is obviously expensive and you don't wanna waste it. So I'm going to open these up. Um, whoop, no I'm not. I'm gonna put on my gloves first. You will regret your life choices if you do not wear <laughs> gloves when you are working with resin. It's about the messiest thing ever. Um, I usually only do resin with my advanced kids, uh, advanced students, because again, it's so messy and I don't want my classroom to be all sticky. Um, just a little tip, if you're having a hard time getting it cleaned up, um, nail polish remover or acetone is generally the best thing to get it cleaned up. Lighter fluid sometimes uh, will get the job done if you don't have access to any um, acetone, but that is usually the best. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, I've got so much stuff on my surface here. I'm gonna use just this tray. You could use a piece of cardboard, lay a paper down, whatever you want. I'm using the tray so that when I'm done pouring it into this, because it's flimsy, you want something that you can pick up easily and move. <laughs> so, Actually, I'm gonna use this side because it lays flatter. So let me set that again to the side. But I wanna mix my stuff on this in case any drips over. Um, I'm not messing up my work surface here. Okay, lots of explanations there. So again, I'm gonna do equal parts. And because I'm doing so many projects today, um, I am gonna go ahead and um, trying to get this off here. Uh, I am gonna go ahead and mix up more than what it what I'm gonna need for this first project because again, I am doing more than one tutorial. So if you're wondering why I am mixing up too much, that's why. All right, so I'm going to be pouring half and half and then I'm gonna combine them in this cup. So I don't wanna fill these up completely or I'm gonna overflow my cup. So I'm gonna do, um, looks like milliliters, we're gonna do 125 milliliters. Okay, so we got 125 of that. Lid back on, so I don't dump this over and ruin everything. If I can get it, there we go, and then so I've got 125 in here, which means I have to have, obviously, 125 in here as well. The hardener is, is a lot runnier. Okay, so we've got equal parts. Lid back on. And I'm gonna stir this, or I'm sorry, I'm gonna pour it into here. Just like this. And I'm gonna stir, like I said, for three complete minutes. And from there, I'm gonna divide it up into some smaller cups and I'm gonna have to work quickly because it will start to set up within about 45 minutes. Um, all right, yeah, we got a little more. Um, and then when I split it up into the different cups, I'm going to color some in some of my other tutorials. So you'll see those. Let me set these to the side. Okay. 
Uh, the If you buy the Dr. Crafty, it comes with this stir stick, but like I said, you could just use a um, large popsicle stick if you want. So I'm gonna stir this for three minutes. Bear with me, we'll speed up the video here. Okay, so I stirred for three minutes. Um, you're gonna notice some little air bubbles in it, and that's okay. What will happen is once you pour it into your mold um, and you get everything in there, you can go back with like a hair dryer or a heat gun right over the surface and it should help release those air bubbles. So um, before I split this up into some other cups, I'm gonna do um, this tray clear, so clear resin. I'm gonna put some rose gold, or if you wanna call this copper, um, gold leaf flakes in it, and then um, some flowers on one side as well. So we're just gonna go ahead and begin pouring. And this will take a good amount of this resin. And it kind of also depends Actually, it might take all. Well, I might be mixing up some more after all. Which that's enough for um, this tray. So for future reference, if you happen to want to make this tray, uh, 125 to 150 milliliters of each component um, so for a total of 250 to 300 milliliters will be sufficient to do this. I'm gonna smooth it out into all the little areas. And if you want it to be thicker, you certainly can. Um, I don't because once I put the flowers in, it's gonna raise it some. It's gonna raise like the thickness of it. Okay. So we've got it all filled in. There we go. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put uh, the flowers in first because a lot of times when you work with gold leaf, even if you don't have gloves on, it might stick to your fingers. So I wanna do that last. So I'm gonna put these flowers. I'll include a link to these. These are so pretty. Um, they are real dried flowers. Um, if I can get it open here. And they come in sets that are kind of like color coordinated. So like these are all like pinks and mauve and cream and purple. Um, I think this will be really cute in my daughter's room. So I'm gonna take this bigger piece and I'm gonna lay it into place first. I'll go back and press it in in a minute. I'm gonna do some of these purple ones here. And this is why, like I said, you wouldn't want to um, fill it too full or it would overflow. Okay, something like this is gonna be too thick. And so unless you want a textured um, piece, then you wouldn't wanna do that. And the other option is you could certainly do a really thin layer of resin, put your flowers down and then go back and pour some more on top. Um, for this particular one, I don't think that's necessary. So I'm just kind of making up where I'm putting these. And then I wanna put the cream in. I'm gonna kind of break these apart. I'm gonna go back and press all these in a little more. And I'm only doing this one side because I wanna put um, the gold leaf that kind of rose gold gold leaf more on this side it's sticking to me there we go okay and then like that and let's see if we have anything else i want to put in here kind of cream that over there We've got a few more and then we'll be done. So what I will do is um, press those down in just a second. Uh, you can use some pliers, you can use a popsicle stick, um, which is what I'm going to use like this. 
and you just wanna press them down really well so that they're coated in the resin. And you'll notice the thickness of your resin starting to raise up. So this will take a second to go through, get them all basically smashed down in there. Again, like I said, you could do a thin layer, put the flowers in, let it dry, pour another layer on top. Um, you don't have to let it even dry completely, but just enough to keep everything kind of in place. Because sometimes if you pour on top, it will shift around on you and you might not want that if you have stuff in a you know really specific place. Okay, we've almost got it all. So um, once I get all these, then like I said, I'm gonna put the, the gold leaf on the other side and I'll put it kind of faded into the flowers. Once it all dries and I take it out, I'm gonna kind of sand down anything that I don't like that might be out of place. Um, and then I'm going to drill some holes and attach these little rose gold handles. So it's like a little tray, it'll be super cute. Okay. There's gonna be a few that stick up and that's okay. Um, it's just because of the, you know, the type of, the way the flowers are made. And at the end, like I said, we can just trim those off. Okay, that is good for now. Let me put my popsicle stick over there. I'm gonna open my, gold leaf here and I'm going to sprinkle this I'm not going to sprinkle it I'm going to place it kind of where I want it's going to be really big until I move it around little bitty places And gold leaf is very, very delicate if you've never worked with it before, so it falls apart really easily, um, which is kind of a good and bad thing, just depending on what you're doing. So this might kind of look like a hot mess to you right now, but I promise once it's done, it's dried, I put the handles on, it'll look really cute when it's all finished. We are renovating our house and um, this will go really cute, like I said, in my daughter's room. So I'm gonna kind of bunch that up because I don't really like that really big piece. And just wherever around, I think that is good. Kind of break those up a little bit. That's what's nice about it too, is you can kind of tear it up Okay, so um, I don't really see any air bubbles and if there are, there's enough going on that it's not, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to let this dry. When I return, um, I'm gonna pop it out, we'll sand it down a little and then I'll show you how to um, add in the handles. Well, I have let this sit for 24 hours, well, maybe a little less. Um, one thing I did do after um, I stopped filming was I added a little bit of this rose gold colored glitter. I just sprinkled some of that on before everything dried. Um, I didn't do that on camera and it was kind of an afterthought. I just wanted to kind of tie the gold leaf um, over on this side with the flowers and I kind of felt like that metallic -y glitter kind of blended it all. So now I'm ready to pop it out. Um, it should come out very easily. I'm gonna do it face down like this. Oh, so cute. <clears throat> you have to forgive me, I have a bad sinus infection, so bear with me. Um, so you can see a very, very shiny surface. Um, I, I really don't need to sand anything. I thought I might. Uh, but everything really settled nice in there and there's nothing sticking up. This side is really smooth. So what we're gonna do now is attach these really pretty rose gold handles 
on each side. So to do that, we're just gonna drill a hole. I'm going to drill through this. I wanna keep it right in the middle. Um, I'm going in the middle, but in about a half an inch. You certainly don't wanna to go too close to the side. And you'll see a nice little hole. You probably can't really see that well, <laughs> that well on camera. Let's see if we can kind of show it uh, right here. Hopefully you can see that. And I'm gonna put one on the other side and I wanna make sure I get it kind of lined up. Okay, and I'm just lifting it up so I don't drill into the surface here. One thing I want to point out while I'm doing this, um, I have used over the years with my students and just on my own, um, a lot of different brands of resin. The Dr. Crafty is, in my opinion, one of the best to use. I'm not affiliated with them. Um, I just have found that it dries really well. My students have a tendency to not always mix up the stuff for the full for the full three minutes um and even without doing that it still tends to set up really well i bought some in a previous year that it seemed like no matter what we did we kept getting pieces that were still tacky still sticky afterwards and you definitely don't want that so um so what i'm going to do now is just put the the screw into the hole and if it's not you know if it doesn't quite fit it's not a big deal just kind of twist it in <clears throat> all right there we go and like I said I, I kind of purposely went with one that was just slightly smaller than the actual screw just because I really didn't want it to be loose so I'm gonna put this all the way through and then I will screw the handle on and I'm gonna do the other side as well and now I am going to tighten the handle and it should just twist right on into place All right there we go I'll tighten them a little bit more just to make sure that they're really um, in the right place and I've got stuff underneath this mat so it's making my area a little crazy here but you can see how easy this project was but it's super cute when it's finished like everything the colors that you choose the hardware you choose everything that you choose to put in this will make a big difference on the end result um, I've seen these done with pictures in them before just make sure if you do that that you don't do um, inkjet printed photos if that makes sense so you need to have something that has a like a photo finish so um, getting actual developed pictures would work or magazine pictures anything that's going to have almost like a laminated glossy surface would work well otherwise the resin seeps into the paper and then you get a gross result so just keep that in mind um, so I hope you liked this tutorial. Stay tuned. I have several more resin videos coming up soon. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.